Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is the ABB inverter that runs my solar string in my garden. It's currently doing 75 watts completely in the shade, which is very low, but good time for testing things. Nine panels, 285 watts per panel, uh, each about 34 volts, something like that. These are JA solar panels. I had them arranged in the previous video or in, in one of my previous videos where I installed them. I didn't put any roofing under them. I thought they would be waterproof by themselves, but they weren't. So this week I've installed some box profile underneath and something has changed. Maybe it hasn't. Um, I've never tried, I don't think, touching them before. But while I was up there putting on those blue washers to hold them down, at one point I touched my aluminium ladder which is in contact with the ground and the tin roof and I could, felt a bit like an electric fence. So there's a current travelling through me to earth. So what I'm going to do now is just try with a bit of twin and earth cable running it to the foot here which is concreted into the ground which should make an earth rod and maybe the back of one of the screws or something up underneath. If I could find something to clamp it to. So if I clamp it to there, one of those screws coming through the tin roof and attempt to attempt to measure the current with a clamp meter. So up beneath there, I've just tied it to a screw and hopefully it's got a connection. It's just dangling down, pressed into the earth. Let's see. I couldn't tell if that's any kind of a it's not sensitive enough. It might have something, but uh, it does actually move the slightest bit. So, yeah, I think it's moving. Let's have a look back in the, the inverter. The inverter just doesn't seem to care about this issue, but the reason I'm playing with it is because the Solace inverter did care it was getting upset about an earth leak fault from neutral from negative to earth so what i need to do i guess is put the solace back on and try it again so there's my new earth cable dangling and if i recreate the fault before if i touch this with one hand and touch the roof with my other before i was getting an electric fence type shock you know, like a very slight tingling in my fingers. I'll try it again. But right now I'm getting nothing. And the test for this is to pull the cable out of the earth. Just uh, touch it into space maybe, or... Yeah, it's resting on the plastic there now. So let's try again, and I'll see if this earthing cable is working. So if I touch the roof and then... Ah! <laughs> 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 the phone leapt out of my hand because I was only holding it with two fingers. So this this is indeed working um, as an earth rod. However rudimentary, the clay's a bit moist, so it is working. But it was, it was more of a hop off at that time. I think it was 60... Oh dear. <laughs> 60, 60 watts when I did it before, but that's not about current. Well, it is about current because it's the panels are the same voltage. Um, 77, so there's maybe another 20-30% more um, current going, if there is, because I presume the current is related to the light that's falling on it. Um, hilarious. <laughs> okay, so I suspect I need to keep this roof earthed just in case somebody was walking along with a metal stick and became the earth, but like, I am wearing my safety crocs today, so there isn't really any issue other than touching the aluminium ladder when I was putting in those screws. Okay, so that earth cable is now functioning as an earth cable, just by trial and error. So I wonder, would the Solace machine come alight? So I've isolated the ABB, and I've got the Solace ready to go. I'll put on the AC first. No, I think you're meant to do the DC first. I don't know, I'm making it up. DC on. Does anything happen? Not yet. Let's put some AC. Remember, we were doing under 100. I might not have switched on the AC outside. Oh, a DC isn't on here. Let's 
yeah, the AC probably is on. So we're getting an alarm straight away. We're getting a green light flashing. At this point it went to alarm before and it was giving me a 01. I can't remember which error, but it was a, I'll show you now. If it'll come around. It's saying no grid. Oh, it was saying that before, even though the grid was attached, which is peculiar. Let me just check if it switched on the grid, because I mightn't have. No, it's it's plugged in and turned on. No grid error, that's a bit weird. Okay. It should have grid. It's giving me a no grid alarm, but it's not giving me the error that was there before. It might have been... It was a resistance fault anyways. It's giving me no grid now, that's a bit peculiar. But it's not giving me that error from before. I'll leave it for a few minutes. So almost immediately after I had turned off the um, camera, almost immediately, it had PV ISO PR01, that's the 01 error for negative to earth leak. So let's just try disconnecting this earth, because that was suggested as an option and it takes me this long to do. Three, four, five seconds. So we've got no grid, but that should come back on in about 20 or 30 seconds, like before. So the logic that I'm trying to apply is that my solar string works fine because this machine should detect any errors also. So that's one kind of trial and error way of testing. It still says no grid. It'll come up in a minute, maybe. When you look at the troubleshooting for this, you have to check for an earth leak. I've got the same error there, saw it just a second ago. PR01, saw it, so it's not fixed it. But it says that this PR01 error is a common fault, there it is. Um, it's a common fault and it can get you you might be able to fix it, but it typically says, it says it's a common fault and the solution is to send the machine back for a re warranty replacement. And of course, I bought this for 120 quid with two panels that I believe are worth more than 120 quid. So I was basically taking this as a, as a gamble. And the gamble in this case may not have paid off or maybe hasn't paid off. So I think I should just uh, quit while I'm ahead. I've got my roof on, I've got my solars on. Um, any advice? Certain people will know straight away do I need to earth this or can I just leave it dangling in space? Does it do any harm to the inverter or is it a better idea that uh, it should be earthed because just in case DC massive shocks like at uh, a tiny less than an amp of uh, current flowing when I got a zap it might be a lot different in, in the middle of the day when there's, when there's a bit of sun on it. So let me know what you think or what you think or what you know in the comments that would be good that alarm is still there i'm gonna park this one up not sure what to do with this people sell them as uh, broken on ebay and uh there's one in an auction right now on ebay so i might just put it up with the known fault and people can decide if they want the casing or the switches or the plugs or whatever you know those things all have a value and the boards inside well apart from the fact that they ain't working maybe the display board works fine or some other bit works fine so People know what they're buying or don't know what they're buying and they think they're getting a bargain. I speak for myself here as well, so I wouldn't feel any guilt putting it up as long as I say it's for parts. Um, there you go, that's this morning's solar learning experience. There still exists on the 18th of March. Thanks for watching, see you later.